Right, we're going to do a road test now on the two rad bikes. The black one has got the standard controller and the white one is the 750 with the standard controller. The power upgrade has now arrived from um, the uh, Bolton e-bikes, uh, which I'm going to install. But before I do that, I'm going to straight test. Now, there is a way of tricking the 250 into be able to use the throttle as if you would on the 750, even though it cuts out at five miles an hour. If you pedal very gently as you do the throttle, it thinks that the car, the bike is still going, so therefore the throttle will accelerate as normal. So we're going to do a throttle test now and test the 750 against the 250 from a standing start for about 100 yards. Okay, thank you. So I've just come back from a 32 mile bike ride all along the Rochdale Canal uh, with the standard stock 250 controller and I have got two bars left uh, on the uh, display. Um, so we'll see what it's like. I'm going to do the same run when I've done the uh, exchange over to the uh, e Bolton e-bike controller. It is on its way. Uh, I've had notification from the postal service that um, it's now landed in the UK. So hopefully it will be with me quite soon. Thank you. Just got back after the same 30 mile bike ride, which I did with the uh, standard controller. And uh, what a difference. It's been the most enjoyable bike ride I've had on the Rad Rhino since I've had it. It was like a breeze. I did one uh, power and five going the way down, um, one and five going back and sometimes two, and a little bit of throttle. Uh, power wise, when I got back from the Rad Rhino uh, with the standard controller, I had approximately uh, one to two bars and I've got back on this. This only has four bars. Uh, it said 53 volts when it originally started. It now has two bars and 44 volts left. Uh, and I did use a lot more throttle when I was uh, on the way back because it's that much fun. This is just the okay. side by side of the two bikes now. Um, exactly the same test as I did earlier, uh, but with the controller on so you can see the increase in performance against the stock 750. So just to recap, um, would you do the upgrade? If you had the 250 watt motor, yes, definitely. It's a different bike altogether with the upgraded controller and I would highly recommend it. If you had the 750 over in the UK, I'd probably be quite happy with that. I think it all depends on your level of fitness. If you have the uh, controller upgrade, literally you don't have to be that fit. I mean, it would literally take you anywhere you want to go uh, with the minimum of effort. I drove it all day today with one uh, power and two at the maximum and a bit of throttle and it was great, it went everywhere. I could notice a massive difference between the before when it had the uh, Rad Rhino controller and after when it had the Bolton e-bike controller, massive difference. Now the 750, which is the white one behind me, uh, has already got a 750 watt Rad Rhino controller on it and it drives really well, it, you know, it, it was, I'd have been more than happy with that if I could have bought another one for the UK but unfortunately they stopped doing the 750 and dropped it down to the 250 due to EU regulations. If you pick up a 750 in the UK I would say stick with it, if you've got a 250 do the upgrade and if you just want a bit of fun do the upgrade, you know, even if you've got a 750 and you stick this controller on there's loads you can do with it uh, and the fun you can have is massive. Um, like I say, Great service from Bolton e-bikes. It's a bit of a delay getting it here, but I'm sure because of coronavirus and the fact that stock's a bit difficult to get hold of, there is a bit of a delay, but it is worth the wait. Thanks very much. Stay safe.